you all very much for coming. I'm Bill Newman, and I have the great honor and pleasure of doing this welcome this afternoon, mostly because I think I've had an office in downtown Northampton for 40 years. Now I have two offices and places of work in downtown Northampton. And I think that on behalf of all of us who live in the city and who work in the city and who have trod this particular path and to the courthouse, I've done that thousands of times, it is such a pleasure to be able to be part of this unveiling ceremony. I think that on the path to the courthouse, there's no place that we need something called hope more than here. And I also think that there's no time, at least in my lifetime, when we've needed hope more than now. No one has celebrated Northampton more than Greg Stone. In his work, in his art, in his sculpture, he gave voice to those who had no voice, and he celebrated the common humanity of all of us. It is a testament to him as a person and to us as a community that we are here to celebrate his life and to recognize the extraordinary accomplishment that he has given us as his last piece of art, his last work. Greg was dying, and he didn't die until he finished this. It's really quite the amazing story. There's a plaque on the corner of the courthouse lawn. It says, here stood the first meeting house, 1654 to 1661. And the Northampton Courthouse has been a central part of this city and our lives. These grounds have been a central part of our city and these lives. This building is a central part of our community. And it has become increasingly, once again, a central part of our community with all of the programming and concerts and events that occur here on this, the courthouse lawn, really the central place and the heart of this city. Greg Stone gave us an extraordinary piece of sculpture on Main Street, the Queen of Main Street. Every time I go past it, I give thanks to all the people in Northampton who have made this city an extraordinary place to live, a place that has humanity and love and community and hope. Every time we walk past this sculpture that soon will be unveiled, we'll be able to celebrate that humanity and give thanks to Greg Stone. It's my pleasure now to introduce Todd Ford, who created this event for us, worked with Greg, and made today happen. Wow, what a crowd. Thank you all so much for coming out. Uh, first, I just want to state uh, Happy Veterans Day and thank all the veterans for their service. differential. Right. This has been uh, an amazing journey and I'm very honored uh, to stand here before all of you and tell you about that journey and thank some of the people who worked so hard to make this day a reality. Uh, this day started when Bill Newman approached me uh, stating that an anonymous donor uh, wanted to contribute funds for the erection of a permanent piece of sculpture here on the courthouse lawn. Uh, we were very excited uh, at the Council of Governments uh, to uh, work with him on that. And so we formed a, a committee, issued an RFP to uh, all Hampshire County uh, artists. And I want to thank all the artists who participated in that process. Uh, we love public art and I can't think of a time when we need more public art than now. The committee consisted of Nancy Schwartz, Nancy Negig, Barbara Kellum, Stephen Pedagorski, Eileen Stewart, Lydia King, and myself. And we reviewed the proposals that came in and Greg's piece stood out and really touched us on an emotional level. And I think you're going to, when you see the statue today, you're going to understand why. Uh, working throughout the process uh, was uh, Mickey Beauvoir. Uh, she is a force of nature. Uh, she is one reason we are all standing here as well. Uh, she kept the process moving. Uh, with Greg and after Greg's passing, uh, we owe her a debt of gratitude. 
I was very fortunate to get to spend some time with Greg as he built the statue, uh, starting uh, as a sketch, uh, sitting with him as he crafted a small wireframe, uh, as it turned into a larger sculpture. The, the, the work that goes into these pieces is really phenomenal, and it was a great learning experience for me and, and a joy to sit with him during the process and talking about what inspired him uh, and what led to the creation of the sculpture. The sculpture was inspired, and these are his words, uh, by the compassion of our youth. And he said in his submittal, the news of our world is filled with conflict and uncertainty, but our region offers reasons for hope. Recently, 12-year-old Serafina Foreman of Northampton organized a walk to benefit the Rainforest Trust. And then eight-year-old Lavery Greenfield of Hatfield organized her second annual food drive to benefit the Food Bank of Western Massachusetts. The compassion of our young people has served as my inspiration, Greg wrote. The figure represents all young people in our community whose good work is having an extraordinary impact, and the dove represents our compassion and vision of peace for the future. Uh, Lavery is here with us today and is going to join us uh, later in the ceremony. And it's that compassion of the young people that inspired Greg, and I could see it in him, uh, that compassion, as he crafted this work. After Greg's pass passing, the, 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 the erection of this sculpture really took a community to, to finish it off. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Mickey again for her incredible work in organizing and bringing this to fruition, and your spirit has been uh, really inspirational to all of us. Uh, David Boyajin, who is here as well, a uh, sculptor, uh, helped finish the, the project uh, and add some finishing touches. Steve Poirier, uh, who came through the sculpture, Greg originally wanted it over there, uh, and that over there is what used to be Court Street, and so underneath where he wanted the sculpture is everything, gas, sewers, everything. We couldn't put it there, so his second choice was here, and working with uh, the team to go through the process and get the hole dug and the concrete poured, uh, it really took a community. I want to also thank Steve Sanderson and Brian Foote, the Northampton Arts Council and the Arts Night Out organization that uh, helped to prepare this event as well. And the important thing is we all came together as a community. We're all standing here as a community to see this thing through even when Greg was no longer with us. And I think Greg would be very proud of the way we came together uh, to finish this work. And given that this is about hope and about the compassion of our youth, I do not think this is the last time that we as a community stand around this statue and honor the work of our youth and honor the hope that we have as a community for our future. And with that, I'd like to introduce 13-year-old Anne-Marie Arduino to play something on the violin for us. Anne-Marie.
Beautiful. Thank you, Anne Marie, from the Northampton Community Music Center. And now I'd like to introduce uh, Greg's brother, uh, Rocky Stone, to finish off the, this uh, presentation. Rocky. <clears throat> thank you, Todd. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank everyone for attending uh, this affair. I'd like to thank Todd Ford, Executive Director, and Lydia King, Executive Assistant of the Hampshire Council of Governments. <clears throat> Without their tireless effort and steadfast diligence, this event would not be possible. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Lydia. Special thanks also goes to Ashfield Stone, who provided the foundation for the statue and to the sincere metal works of Chelsea who bronze and stone. I'd also want to recognize one of Greg's strongest supporters, the young lady with the green blanket is Greg's Aunt Marge, age 97. Greg grew up in Athol. He graduated from Athol High in 1965. He went on to Kimball Union Academy and then Boston University. He received his uh, Bachelor's of Fine Arts in 1970 from BU. He spent the next 45 years living in Northampton in the greater Northampton area, where he, he formed friendships with a countless number of individuals from all walks of life to include the homeless, street vendors, construction workers, restaurateurs, bikers, bankers, lawyers, educators, fellow artists, and students. During the past several months, he displayed a great deal of courage and determination. Along with his willpower and the support and assistance that he received from many, to include, but not limited to, his caretakers, Karen and John, his agent, Mickey, his consultant, Tony Aguda, fundraisers, Kathy, Allison, and Katha, fellow artist, David Boyage, and his special friend, Bob O'Bowen. With their help, along with the encouragement provided by so many friends and relatives, Greg was able to complete this final piece of art. As we near the end of the ceremony, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here today and making this day a special occasion. At this point, I'd like to call forward the special young people in Greg's life who provided the inspiration uh, for, for hope. Lavery Greenfield, his grandniece Bridget McGuire, grandnephews Liam McGuire, Connor, and Owen McGuire. Uh, sorry, Naeem. It's Owen and Connor Mayer.
Well, sir, take it in and uh, definitely enjoy the rest of your day and uh, speak all of you. Thank you.